for our today's online seminar with the title a guide through the scholarship portal of the DAD. So uh, maybe you already know that we um, have different scholarship programs and for the majority of our scholarship programs you need to do your application through the DAD portal and I would like to show you today how to do it. I would like to give you some recommendations and some tips for this application procedure. My name is Sarha Neja. I work for the DRD Regional Office Tunis and I will accompany you today through the next, let's say, 60 minutes. Our online seminars are always interactive. It means that you will give you you, you will get some input from my side, and uh, during this presentation, our chat box will rest open, and you can write there questions you have in your mind. And I will then, when I finish my presentation, read the questions loudly and answer them to all. And in this way, everyone could benefit from. Um, from the information. Uh, we have also prepared some documents that you will uh, uh, um, download, upload, that you will uh, download at the end of, uh, of my presentation. So you will find our script brochure, find um, uh, a sheet, we'll get information and we'll get recommendations how you can write a good um, uh, research proposal. You will also find um, a very useful brochure about the PhD, how to do a PhD in Germany if you are inter interested in. So this will be normally the content of today and let's have a closer look first of all on the content. So I will present you very briefly the organization I work for, the DAD. I will show you some funding programs um, where you need to do your application through the DAD portal and then you will get some uh, recommendations, um, information, tips and also suggestions. So this will be um, the content of today. Let's begin with the DAD, the organization I represent today. DAD is uh, short for um, Germ uh, Deutscher Akademischer Austauschdienst, which means German Academic Exchange Service. We are an independent organization and our members are universities, research centers and also some student bodies. On this nice picture, you can see one of our buildings in the headquarters, which is located in Bonn. Bonn is the former capital of Germany. And we also have a second branch office uh, in Berlin, in the capital of Germany. And besides these two big structures in Germany, there are uh, regional offices, information centers and information points all over the world in more than 60 countries. We are very proud to be one of the biggest scholarship organizations worldwide. In 2022, we have awarded more than 145,000 scholarships to Germans in order to go abroad to study or research. And vice versa, also um, scholarships to foreigners from all over the world in order to come to Germany uh, to study or research there. What we have in the region um, is our regional office in Tunis, which has been created in 2012, um, an initiative from the German um, uh, Foreign Office. And we are meanwhile a regional office, not only responsible for Tunisia, but also for Libya, Algeria and Morocco. We work on different uh, fields, always uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the area of uh, higher education. We offer information about study and research in Germany. We um, give consultings for universities and, uh, and institutions who are interested to have some uh, bilateral or multilateral corporations. We are partners for partner for ministries and industry, and we do lots of other different events in the field of marketing. We offer events for our former scholarship holders. We uh, offer events and trainings for uh, university teachers. So there are really lots of different uh, kinds of uh, activities we offer in the region. 
Um, besides our office, there are also lectures located in Tunisia, Algeria, and also Morocco, and they also represent the DAD at their local university. Let's continue now with uh, a selection of funding programs we have prepared here for you. Sorry. Um, this is our scholarship, um, an, an overview about our scholarship programs. We offer scholarship programs for different fields um, in, in, for different levels. And today we will have a focus on, uh, on the programs you can see here in the framework. Let's continue with the first program, study scholarships for foreign graduates in the field of art and architecture. We can offer here um, a master program for those who have already finished a first degree in their home uh, country with excellent grades, with excellent results, and who are interested to do a master program uh, in Germany. It could be an English spoken master program or a German uh, master program. It could be a one year program or a two year program. It depends on the credit points you will get at the end. And uh, then you can check which programs exist and you can apply for them. We have different deadlines, which will all begin from between September until November. So there is a program uh, in architecture, there's a program in music, there's a program in performing arts, there's a program in design. So there are four different programs you can apply for and you will find a detailed description about the, these programs on our scholarship database. You can see here um, the link is written here and I would like to highlight it once again that you can well see it. The next program is the very known and famous program research grants. This is a program for um, Maghrebinian candidates who are interested to, um, to do a to do a, um, a whole PhD in Germany or parts of their PhD in Germany. And um, the, so the whole PhD will be a funding for four years. There's a possibility to benefit from a, what we call the binationally supervised program. It means that you will have alternate stays between Germany and your home country. At the end, you will get your grade, um, the grade in, uh, in your home country. There's a one year grant. It means that you are already enrolled in your home country and that you will pass one year in, in Germany and the short term grant, the same condition you are enrolled in your home country and you could benefit from a short stay between one and six months in Germany. Condition is that you have already finished at least your master degree with excellent grades. We really look for excellence and uh, that uh, you uh, that you then uh, could apply for an individual program or a structured doctoral program. If you are interested to, to know what is the difference between an individual and a structural program, we have explained it on our YouTube channel. We have offered um, an online seminar, uh, how to do a PhD in Germany. And there we have explained um, the differences between the individual uh, doctoral program and the structured doctoral program. And we'll write you the link directly in the chat and you can have there a closer look about it. Um, this program is open to all fields. So you can do your doctoral degree in biology in mathematics and engineering in medicine, in, uh, in sports, in really all field. It's possible and it's open uh, to all. Application deadline is very, very soon. It's next week, 31st of August, 2023. There are different programs that you need to prepare, uh, uh, sorry, different papers that you need to prepare and we will have later together a closer look about um, what is demanded and further information are available here on our scholarship database. There's the same program or not, it's not the same, but it's a very similar program for those who uh, still haven't uh, um, finished their, who, no, sorry, uh, for those who have already finished their doctoral degree and who are uh, teaching or researching at, uh, in their home country at a university or research center, you can apply for a short stay between one and three months 
uh, at a German university or at a research center. And um, this also program is also open to all fields without exception. And uh, application deadline is the same 31st of August 2023. But now we have here the same program, like the, re, like the research stay. This is the re-invitation program for former scholarship holders. Only if you are a former scholarship holder from the DAD, it means that you have been funded during a period of six months. You can apply for this program. It's a short stay in order to do your research at a German uh, university or at a German non-university research institute and um, for, for duration between one and three months. And uh, in this case, you can apply for this program. And we have here the same condition, 31st of August um, is uh, the deadline. So these are our principal programs. So there are some master programs. There is a big um, uh, program for, uh, for, for the doctoral candidates and a program also for, for a postdoc. And, um, and for all these programs, if you want to apply for, and the application deadline is very soon for some programs by the end of this month, and for some programs it will be in by the months of uh, September, October and November. And for all these programs, you need to do your application um, through our portal. And I would like to show you how you can do it. And uh, first of all, I would like to show you our um, scholarship database we have already mentioned. So I think the most important link of today is the scholarship database funding-dive.de. My colleague Hint will write you the direct link in the chat box, then you can just click on it and then you will have it. You will find there all scholarship programs offered by the DAD. Uh, you need to filter your research. There are currently more than 180 different programs available for the whole world. Of course, you need to choose your, uh, your country, Tunisia or Algeria or Morocco or Libya. For example, you need to say what is your status, what is your uh, subject, what is your intention, and then uh, you will get the results um, um, that, that could be um, interesting for you. Um, we have put also as a service um, also scholarship programs that are not offered by the DAD, but they are offered by um, other German organizations like, for example, associations, like, for example, political foundations, a program from the government, program from uh, some other associations. So you find them all um, uh, here in the scholarship database. You, you can just, it's very small, but I think um, I can show you here, you can click or tip on this um, information, DAD funding programs only. If you will click on it, then you will get only the programs funded through the DAD. If you let it like that, then you will also find the programs that are offered by other German organizations. Just have a look by um, on them. So I would like now to share my screen with you and show you um, how we um how we can um look for a program just one second i would like to open the right window so let's um click take the link funding minus guide point de this is the most important link Oh, I and now I was too quick. Funding minus guide point D. Yes, this is the right link. So you can see we have now 178 different programs. They are not filtered. You can see already the first programs we have. Um, we have already um, we have already seen now. But I would like to show you how you can do it. You can here just write the name of the program if you can have it. For example, research grants. Oops, without. And we have here four different programs: the short-term grant, the one-year grant, the doctoral program, and the binationally supervised program. Or you say no, I will be a little bit more open, and I will say I'm a graduate. 
I'm from Algeria. My subject is, let's say, mathematics and natural sciences. And my intention is to do research in German. And I just want to have the DID funding programs. Then we re refine our selection. And from 178, we have nine programs. And you can check the programs that are here available. Let's go to page two. Voila. These are the programs we have already seen. Let's take the program, doctoral programs in Germany, to do a whole PhD there. I would like to ask you here really to read very attentively the um, call for application. It's very important because we cannot accept um, an application that is not complete, an application that is not correctly or formally correct um, uh, uploaded through the portal. So it's really very, very important that you check all the details. And if you do not understand something, just send us an email, call us, contact us, and we uh, are pleased to, in, to, to help you because we have really a very big interest to get good applications. We get lots of good applications, but unfortunately, the big majority of the good applications is formally not correct. It means that something is missing, for example, and in this case, we cannot accept them and it makes lots of work with zero um, result. So it's important that you read the overview, who can apply, what can be funded, the duration, the value, or how is the, the, the selection procedure, and so on. This is really very important. The first, um, this is the first one, then the second one, application requirements. You can find here also some FAQs, important scholarship information. If you click on it, then you will, um, you will get the information. If you have any questions, you will find all the answers there. And, um, and, and you have here, for example, some conditions. For example, as a rule, all our, uh, we can only uh, give a scholarship if um, the last degree is not older than six years. You should not be a resident in Germany for longer than 15 months. The, all these conditions are, are written here. And if one of these conditions is not fulfilled, then the application will be rejected. Then the most important button is here, application procedure. You find some information about the deadline, about the selection date, about, about the start of funding. Uh, uh, in this year, it will be in October 24. So it really very, it's really very transparent. And then you have the application documents. And this is really very, 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 very important. Because unfortunately, I do not understand it, but unfortunately, sometimes or very often the candidates think, oh, I do not have now, I do not, uh, I will not uh, upload, for example, my school leaving certificate. I do not understand why. You all, you all have a school leaving certificate, this is the baccalauréat, but you do not upload it. And if it's not there, then we need to reject your application. So let's have a look what is really needed. You need the application form. I will show you how you can find the application form. You need a full curriculum vitae. And you have here the, this is the CV, and you have here the information that it should be the full curriculum vitae. It means if you, if there will be information missing, if we see, we, if we see, for example, between 2015 and 2018, there's no information about the activities of this person, of, of this candidate, then it's not a full CV. This is just one example. List of publications, if applicable. If you have it, then put it. If you do not have it, this is not mandatory. Then the description of um, the academic and personal re reasons why you want to do your research in Germany. This is a kind of letter of motivation. And you have here also some questions or, or some, some, some highlights that could help you um, how you, you need to formulate your, your uh, motivation letter. Then a proposal prepared and formulated by yourself. It should not be a, pro a proposal that is formulated by your professor. It should be formulated by yourself. You will get some questions during the interview about this proposal. So you need to understand uh, uh, what is uh, important. Maximum 10 pages and we have prepared you also 
a document where you um, where you will find some tips and recommendations how to write and formulate such a proposal. And you find here also some FAQs, important scholarship information section B.2. There you will find the important information about the research proposal. This is one of the most important documents in your application. Then it, it depends if you will do an individual project or a structured project. We have already uh, given you the link where you will find the information about these two kind uh, types of, uh, of a PhD. If you, and I, I need to say that the big majority of uh, doctorals in Germany are individual projects. In this case, you will need a schedule, your plan, what you will do. For example, you will go for four years, you need to explain what you will do exactly during the first year, second year, third year. If you will stay for 10 months, then you need to explain what you will do exactly during these 10 months. And of course, it should be congruent with your research proposal. Um, because this will be very, um, very um, uh, well um, uh, checked by the reviewer to see, okay, the candidate plans to do that and that, and the schedule is that and that, and should be uh, conform. Then the letter confirming supervision by um, the doctoral supervisor. This is a very important document. If you do not have it now, you cannot get it during a whole uh, couple of days. And this is for the case if you will do an individual scholarship, if you will do an, uh, an uh, a structured pro uh, doctoral program. In this in this case, you will need um, the schedule or the module plan. You will need um, the proof of existing existing contacts. This could also be just an email, and of course also the letter of admission. If you have it, if you still do not have it, you can also submit it later. This is the only document that could be submitted later. You need your university degree certificate indicating the final grades. This is very important. We, uh, you can also add other documents that could support your applications, but really only documents that support your applications. Um, the, the language certificate should also be there and should not be older than two years. And we are very happy that we do not only accept the TOEFL, the IELTS, uh, and, and the IELTS, but also um, we accept this year the onset. Onset is a small placement test that is not so um, expansive, and it's uh, available in uh, in different in in, in different uh, um, countries like Tunisia, uh, in Morocco. It is normally um, um, available, but uh, for this week. Uh, the, the, the person in charge is not there and uh, you, ju you just can um, contact us if there's any doubt. We need all the university certificates with all the, the final grades. We need the proof of admission to a doctoral program at the home uh, university if you are enrolled. If you are not enrolled, then you, you cannot uh, uh, put it there. Please uh, add also your school leaving certificate. This is the baccalaureate. And um, all documents should be um, translated in English or in German. You can translate it by yourself. It's possible that you do not have uh, more costs. Um, but in this case, we'll need a copy of, uh, of the original. Or you can uh, translate it by your sworn uh, translator. But in this, in, and in this case, there's no copy of the um, original uh, needed. <clears throat> Please also add an explanation of the grading system. You can find it um, uh, uh, on the internet through Wikipedia, for example, just to do a Google research and you will find it. And last but not least, we also need an uh, ID from yourself. It could be the passport, could be a, um, the, the ID card or any other um, uh, document where we can see your, um, uh, all, your, um, all the information about you. Um, there's one document that should not be Uploaded through the portal, you can send it through the link you can see here. I hope it's clear. Oh, I've lost it. It's here, this link, which is now in blue. It's not so, um, so clear, but this is the link where your university teacher 
should upload the reference letter because you will need for every application you will need one reference letter and uh, you the 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 university teacher could upload it through this link you can see here it's very very easy and please only the reference letter should be uploaded through the link the rest should be done through the DRD portal uh, and you find here further information. If, if you have any doubts about the reference letter, please contact us. You still have 10 days to do it and we are pleased to help you. Uh, maybe before I show you how you can upload and prepare all these documents, uh, just two or three other remarks. <clears throat> it's important to understand that the deadline is 31st of August and it's an automatic um, deadline. It means that 31st of August, at midnight, middle European time, the portal will be closed. There's no way to add any documents, to add any application. And if you will, uh, you, you are still, for example, preparing your, um, your, your application at uh, 11.30, for example, it means half an hour before the deadline, then there could be some problems and some technical issues. In this case, no one could help you uh, if, uh, if, there are, if there are any technical problems. And unfortunately, there's still a big number of uh, applicants who do it last minute. Maybe they are still waiting for, for some documents. We do not recommend it because at this time there's lots of uh, candidates who are entering through, through the portal and trying to do the application. And uh, there could be a bug, there could be a uh, a problem, a technical issue, and no one could help you. And in this case, the application could not be considered. There's no way to do an exception, for example. Uh, so that's why I always recommend to do or to submit the application two or three days before in, in case there's any technical problem, then you can contact us. You can contact our technical support and I will give you later the contact details and have um, more information uh, or, or get some, some help. This is um, the most important issue. And then uh, the next, um, the next uh, button here is contact and consulting. I've uh, clicked here on Algeria. That's why you can find, you do not find our contact details, but you find the contact details of our uh, lecture at University of Algier and some useful websites. And last but not least, the most important button, submitting an application. It was the green button. So you find really lots of very, very good information. So first of all, register in the DRD portal. How to register? Before you can submit an application, you need, of course, to register. And normally, you know it. You are, you are now in the, the, the generation that, uh, that knows very, very well how to do it. And it's, I think it's intuitive. You do not need the information from my side. But I just want to give you this document where you'll find some screenshots, information and help how to do the registration, how to log in for the first time. You'll find here the screenshots um, the um, some recommendations about the about setting a password and so on. So this is the first information. Then you need for your application to request a reference letter. Um, the reference letter uh, will be found also on our um, portal, and I will show you. So the model of the reference letter uh, uh, is available on the portal, and you need to, um, to 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 give it then to your professor that he or she can fulfill it and uh, and, and use this model. This is uh, very very important. Um, this is the second step, and the third and last step you will do uh, is um, that you will apply through the DRD portal. And here you will find the notes how to apply. 18 pages where you will need for each step you will do, you will find a screenshot, how you need to do it, what is the first step, what is the next step. Here you find the screenshots where you need to click on and so on. So we will see all these pictures later also together. So it's really very helpful for those who find some technical problems or those who do not know how to do it. 
and I think it's it's very helpful. Uh, the, the, these notes are really very very helpful. Um, you do not need to send your application documents by post. This is not needed for our countries. You only send the reference letter to the portal. Uh, no, sorry. You only send the application through the portal and the reference letter uh, via the link you have already seen. That is all. Here you find once again the um, the information about um, the 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 technical um, support, and I will show it to you also later. So if we want now to apply, then we need to click here, and then you need to register first of all because I will use now the content the. The, the account of my colleague, but you need, you do not have a DID ID yet, register now. If you have forgotten your password, you can click here. I have already here the, the account of my colleague. I have here the email address with a password, and then I will sign in. We need to wait a little bit. Okay, and then we are directly in the program, you have here, you can, so we have seen how to register and we have seen that um, you can here request the reference letter. So we have, we have already spoken about it. If you want to apply, you need a reference letter and there's a special form where you need to give further information about you. So you give here the information. So your personal information are automatically there because you have registered. And then you need to give here the uh, name of the referee, the name of the person who will write this reference letter. There are some information that are already here filled in. And then you, can you need to check all entries and create then the reference form and put then um, just, uh, um, uh, you can just print it then. No, so I need to go back here normally. Is it right? No. Okay. So this was this was uh, the information about uh, how to request the reference form. Now you want to apply. In this case, you need to click on application. When you will click on application, you always need to wait a little bit. You can see here the three points, the bullets. And this will be later the form, which will be in blue when you print it out. You do not need to print it, but it will be then in blue. So um, we have here the first information about the program, about your home country. I've chosen Algeria, that's why we have it here and so on. And then you can say, I will continue. This is okay for me. There are some information about me. And then you need to download the form. If you have downloaded the form, there will be some cases that you need to fill in and then you, uh, you will register the document on your computer and you will then be able to upload it. So first of all, you download it, you fulfill it and then you upload it and you check it. And when you have finished these steps, then you go to the next to the next um, um, step and it will be add attachment and these are all the documents that are needed that we have already seen so this is what i wanted uh, to show you today no, I to, uh, how to do the application the different steps maybe one information i've forgotten is that we uh, registered this online seminar and it will be available in a couple of days on our YouTube channel and my colleague will write you now the direct link of our YouTube channel DAD Tunisie where we will also find some other um, uh, um, online seminars and you will find all the steps there. Um, so we have seen how to do the application and I've already said that sometimes there are some technical issues and in this case it, the DAD is not able or we the DAD office Tunis is not able to help you because we are not the technical support um, but, um, but we have a hotline 
and you can send an email via portal at did.de. You need to write it in English or in German, not in French, please. Or you can also call them and you have here the phone number. They are available from Monday to Friday from 9 to 12. And, um, and uh, just ask your questions you have there and be a little bit patient because um, there are, uh, of course, lots of other requests. Um, so if you have questions regarding the application, if you are not sure about a document, if you are not sure about, uh, about some information you have uh, read in, in, in the application, um, in the call, call for application, then contact us and I will give you at the end our contact details. If you have a technical problem, if technically you cannot advance, you cannot um, go on, then please contact the technical support. We are not able to support you. So, Let's continue now with some small information about our selection procedure. I've already mentioned that we are always looking for excellence. We are looking for excellent students. We are looking for excellent um, researchers. And, um, and, and that's why this is the most important criteria for us. Uh, but first of all, the, the, the selection committee, uh, we do the pre-selection uh, in the Maghreb. Um, for the long short, uh, for the long term uh, grants, we do it with a personal interview. If you are not not so far from Tunis, and uh, for the short term, we only do it uh, sur dossier. And uh, there will be then the final selection in Bonn. That's why we have two steps. <clears throat> Sorry. And it's never the DID who will decide if you will be awarded or not, but we have experts. The experts are university professors. They are alumni, former scholarship holders and so on from Germany, but also from Maghreb uh, who support us and, 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 and give advice and who are from your field. And the criteria, as I've already said, is first of all, we lack the excellence. So we look on your grades, we look on your academic career. We have a closer look on the research proposal. This is very important for the, for the expert who will read your application. But also personality, social skills, language skills are also very important for us. So we are not looking only for students or researchers who are only uh, focused on their research, but uh, we are also interested in, 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 in young people who are um, who, um, who, who, who do also some uh, extracurricular activities, for example. This is very important for us as well. So um, maybe one suggestion, suggestion regarding the, um, the academic CV, because unfortunately, very often we get some CVs that are not academic, where you put maybe a photo on the beach, information that are not that do not have a relevance to um, to your subject uh, there's not a full cv there are some gaps in the cv so these are always um, maybe some um, um, lacks and, and and negative points for your application that's why we have put you here two links where you um, that you can use and, um, and where you can really um, get some good uh, suggestions and recommendations how to write a good academic CV. And just read them and they could maybe uh, help you. Regarding the research proposal, it's also a very important document. We have prepared you um, a document where you get some recommendations and uh, you need to download um, this document at the end of our online seminar. So this was also already uh, my, my last uh, suggestion, the last information before I begin now to read your questions. Um, first of all, I would like to give you some useful links. So um, if you want to do research in Germany, it means a PhD or uh, a postdoc, we uh, recommend you the link research in Germany. It's a link made by um, the German uh, Federal Ministry of um, higher education and scientific research. 
and it's really very useful. It's useful for students, for PhD students, but also for postdocs. <clears throat> And uh, um, you will find also the detailed description, how to do a PhD, different types of PhD, and so on. So I really recommend it. I also recommend our website, dd.tn. Um, it's in French and also in uh, German. There are some pages in English. And of course, last but not least, the website of our uh, headquarters, dd.de, you find lots of uh, important information in English and also in German. Here are some useful links for you and I will stop here. Okay, I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to thank you for your interaction, um, for all your questions. I'm sorry that I couldn't answer all of them. There are still lots of questions uh, with no answer, but I ask you to send us an email. You find here the address info at drd.tn. Um, just uh, send us an email. You can also come to our um, office. You need to fix an appointment before. Uh, my colleague will write you uh, in the checkbox the, the direct link where you can fix an appointment. There are still some appointments for this Thursday. Um, if, you, if you want to have a face-to-face -face consulting, then you are invited to come, but please fix an appointment before. The link will be sent uh, immediately. If you just send an, want to, uh, to send an email, you can also do it. Um, we will be happy to help you. We'll be happy to support you and give you the right uh, information about uh, the, the scholarship procedure. I hope that this um, event was useful and helpful for you. As I've already said, the, um, the, um, re um, the recording of this uh, event will be available in a couple of days on our YouTube channel. And um, that's it. Don't forget to download the documents we have prepared for you. Thank you very much and bye-bye.